courgette crisps is the subject of today's food for thought hi my name is jody munting and this is another one of our daily health tip videos now these are courgette crisps now this week we are talking about ultra processed foods and avoiding ultra processed foods crisps you know people love them but they are so processed guys if you think about all the processing going into them so let's make these and these are vegetable crisps homemade now thanks to my gorgeous aqua lady meg she gave me today some huge courgettes this is like the biggest courgette ever isn't it so we're going to make this into crisps uh, and although you may think oh it's going to make a lot of crisps uh the other one to this this is one was slightly smaller, just made that many guys, so uh, it's not going to make as much as you think. But anyway, so how do you do that? I will show you right here, right now. First of all, I'm topping and tailing the courgette, and then I'm just going to slice this up. Now, although they're crisp, you don't need to go too thinly, because um, they do shrivel up <laughs> in the oven. Um, so. Obviously make them crisp-like, but you don't need to worry about doing it too thin. And obviously the more slices you get, the more crisps you are going to get. Now the actual consistency of them, it all depends on how you like it doing. I have put those in for about 40 minutes to get them that crispy. Maybe you want them a little bit more. I've had them a little bit crispier before. It all depends on how thick you actually cut the courgette as well so the best thing to do is just to, to check every uh, 10 or 20 minutes and just see how they're getting on right so I've sliced my courgette I'll show you close up how thick I've gone um, so almost a um, inch not an inch almost a centimeter between half a centimeter and a centimeter I would say then I've got my lined dish and I've got my extra virgin olive oil and I'm just going to put a little splash of that on and get my little oil paintbrush now I'll bake the others on here this is why it looks dirty but it's not actually dirty so I've painted that on and then as simple as that guys bang them on now this is obviously uh, a lot bigger than my pan so I'm not going to be able to cook them all in one go but basically when those all get in it's like a little jigsaw and then what's happened is because I've got quite a lot of oil on the bottom there when I flip them over after 20 minutes, the oil will obviously still be on the bottom, so then it will coat the other side. So you don't need any extra oil now. Um, so then bung them in the oven. Uh, I would say probably about a 200 degree heat. As I said, throw them in for 20 minutes first of all, turn them over, and then leave them for another 10 or 20 minutes, depending on how you like them. And then you get this. So this is your aubergine crisp. Yes, it's not like super crispy, but if you keep cooking it longer, you could go up to 60 minutes, it would get really crispy. And the secret ingredients is salt, guys. I really do believe that this is why crisps and chips taste so good. It's just the texture with that little bit of salt. Now for health reasons, Pink Himalayan rock salt is the one, guys. So you don't want any processed, refined salt. Use some natural salt. And I swear, these are gorgeous. Hot, crispy, salty, delicious. I'm going to the cinema this afternoon. I'm gonna take them with me. Those are my cinema snacks. Thank you for joining me, as always. What do you do with your courgettes? Leave a comment below. As always, if you're watching on YouTube, click on subscribe. See you in the morning for a workout. Bye for now.